Okay guys, I'm back. So that video was a little bit longer than I intended, so I ended it without saying an outro. Here's my intro. Here I am again. Where might this lead? Where am I going? How am I supposed to get over there? Let me open. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Rune? Oh. Uh oh, well, I died. Well, this is different. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. I probably shouldn't have come down here by myself. Shoot! Hold on, there's a chest over here. I don't want to miss that. Okay, there we go. Oh, hi! I like that better. Okay. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm able to get over there. I died. <laughs> okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. I got it.
This must be the way forward. But to where? Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Is a book after all. The pensive again. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. 
my father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morkanok. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She uses it for bad, doesn't she? Put that part out too. Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Uh-oh. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Ah, oh, now he's gonna yell at us. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year. Like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm... Perhaps this book will explain. I'll have to take it with me to London. 
The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. You know what? I think I know what's going on. So, that girl... your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Cross Wands. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. How goes it? Oh, Sebastian. Why would anyone bother sending secret love letters? If you want to win me over, just treat me to a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. I need to catch up on my letter writing. I think my owl's getting cobwebs. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'll go to loan. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Let me open. Come on. Let me open. Take it. Prepare it. Come on, you. 
I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <gasps> the plants! Not the plants. The plants. It was perfect to start with. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Oh my god. Excuse me. Look at this. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh my god. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Good. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. 
Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's my star thistle arrangement. Nifla's fancy or roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. <laughs> They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Let them have good chomping. <laughs> Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Okay. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go oh. on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Ah, uh, old Ab. Open the wagon. Oh, hold on. Uh, what? Ah. Uh. Look at that! Well, I don't think they can get their uh, mouth on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. <laughs> Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I was not good. Or that's just a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. <laughs> Trolls and hogsmeade and such. <coughs> you can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. <laughs> Why did I'll see you back in class. Why? Why can I imagine just throwing out a cabbage in the trail? <laughs> I can just imagine throwing a cabbage on a troll. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, throwing a cabbage on a troll. Oh, I can just imagine throwing a cabbage at a troll. <laughs> Funny, wouldn't it? Oh, went the wrong way. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, <laughs> as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. 
magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damn hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Okay, that'll be ready in 15 five minutes. All right. Kind of cool. Brown cabbage. I I I I really can't imagine throwing a cabbage at a troll. <laughs> you must eat cabbage. You must eat vegetables you must eat. <laughs> vegetables you must eat. <laughs> No! <laughs> I mean, it's in Yoda's speech. Vegetables, you must eat. <laughs> Shouldn't there be auras or something? Oh, yeah, Luke Skywalker, I forgot. I bet he knows more than he's letting on. You know, he, he got tired. He got tired. <laughs> I'm going to potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Limp. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy. Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. So he's just gonna sit there and not really help us? Is that what's happening right now? I'm a new Use person. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Uh, okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. I am mm. a genius. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Okay. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Okay. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. So you're saying I need to go into the Forbidden Forest and go gather a bunch of ingredients. Is that what you're saying? My Wigan World Potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. <laughs> I wish I could just replace it with one. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a god. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Gareth Weasley? Is this the son of... Matilda Weasley? 
He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Ooh. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Ugh. Just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. Ugh. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to be I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Oh, uh, gosh. Do I do it and then Sharp get mad at me? No, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I have enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Sorry, Gareth. I'm Remember, sorry. Precision is key when brewing potions. Uh, I'll collect it. Then what else do I oh, no. <sighs> oh! I took it when I didn't even want to. Shoot. I didn't mean to take that. Wizard always has a few Should you chop the dead meat or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Uh, brew an Edoras potion. Okay, what do I do now? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get in. Oh! Dragon duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Uh. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Pump Professor. Pants. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Uh, return to Professor Sharp. <clears throat> I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. <laughs> I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwoopa feather. This time. I'm sorry. I, did... I didn't mean to grab it. I'm sorry. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I didn't mean to grab it. I'm sorry. I mean it. Okay. So now I need to go back to Herbology oh, so I can get my are going to reap from so I can get my thing. Um, where's Herbology? I need. I'm sorry, Mr. Sharp. I don't want to grab it. Don't want it. Where is? Boom. All right. Now I can go and get my plant. Get my Dittany. And then I may take a trip to Hogsmeade, because then I can go ahead and get uh, Handy resource the stuff on the way. Field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Is it? Yep, I was right. All right, Disney, let's go. 
Why did he? Okay, now nine minutes. All right. Dude. Back over here. Back this way. They're flirting, looking cute. The last time I was at ah, I think I went there. All right. Where am I going? <clears throat> Meet with Nettie. Okay, so I need to meet with Nettie. <clears throat> meet with Nettie. Oh no, I had the wrong one. Dang it. Well, map. And then I'm gonna run out, run to Hogsmeade. Ah. Uh... I didn't mean to take this other. Whee! Open! I'm through. What is players? Over there. Can I go over there. Ravenia. This. Who's over here? It's supposed to be a Hagrid. Or is it Mr. Moon? Let's see. And why is the door open? Oh, it's not open. Can I do anything here? Who's this? Oh, yeah. Can't go over there. Alright, so now I get to get, get tired. Well, I guess I'm not going to hug me. This is the magical beast sort of- This is the magical beast class. Ooh. Oh, magical creatures. I cannot wait to be in that class. Can't wait. Wait. Right. It's probably my favorite. It's gonna be my favorite class. Probably gonna be my favorite class ever. All the animals. <laughs> Excuse me? You know, I really don't want to have to throw cabbages. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And cabbages are being- Ooh, mushrooms! Thanks. I'll gather ingredients on the way. Aha! There's more! Gimme! Huh! Yeah. Owl statue. There's the Quidditch pitch. Where's the Whomping Willow? You're on here too, shouldn't it? Hello. What is that? A bit weird. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> what is this? Everywhere. All right, and here's the Black Lake. This would be what would be the grid's hut. On my think. Yeah, this would be Hagrid's hut. A hey, goat. Stop. This looks intriguing. What looks intriguing? Or it looks intriguing. Mushrooms. Leaping mushrooms. What is this? Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace oh, Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh! I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But... I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Um... I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. You want me to dive down there? Okay, I guess I'm gonna be diving down into the Black Lake. Not something I thought I'd do in a game. Not something I thought I'd do at all. So I guess I'll go as far out as I can and then you may tell me that it's all the way over there. Map. Uh I need to go up there again. Hey, it's where is it? Uh, that's there an enemy over there. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. How oh, do I dive? How do 
I dive down? I know where it is, but how do I... Ah! Not bad things. Oh, gee. One more spot. Right there. Found it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I know, I'm gone. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Oop. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Uh, too Thank bad I won't again. be. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Well, I don't want to. Hi, yo. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Hi, friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. The port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. 
I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Halo is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Can I just say, I adore I Natty. Your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Excuse me? Natty? Um, I do this first. <gasps> I never thought you... Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. What happened? Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Well... I'm going to help you get your cards back, dude. Don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What? Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an Ashwinder. She's okay. stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Catherine's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Hmm. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Ah. Huh. Well. I don't know if I'm strong enough to go after trolls at the moment. So I'm gonna go over here and try, try to help this dude. Uh oh. Ah. Don't you worry about a thing. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringos, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. They must have come this way. Think. What are you doing? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Step aside! Let's get this over with, shall we? I shall kill you for this when I get down from here! Ah! Mm. Uh. Uh. <gasps> I ain't gonna let you get down. Oh, oh, uh oh. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Uh, okay. oh, hang on. I'm not going anywhere. You're crazy. You're just a dead body. Oh. 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 
Right, lady, what on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. You okay? <sighs> Are you all right? <sighs> I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. <gasps> I knew it! 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 Merlin! Do it! Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I I'm know studying it. some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little <coughs> secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Those symbols? This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. These... I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these I was features. right. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. I was right. The swirls are Merlin's trials. And those trials are are what Beckham was talking about. My word, did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these tires. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. These trials for the ancient wizards are actually... Incendio, Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I knew it. Curious, the pyres are back where they started. 
I knew it. Three of these pyres are meant to be lit. I knew it. Hogwarts Legacy is talking about Merlin. I a hundred percent, I a hundred percent guarantee it. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Ancient oh, magic. Trials like this one. Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. I guarantee you that the trials that that are talked about with the ancient, the ancient magic, it's the exact same as Merlin. Like they're both, I guarantee it, they both are the exact same trials. These trials that we have to undergo. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Diggory, like, Cedric Diggory? After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. I know I'm not. Poor Arn. If you're here for my wedding, I'm afraid I still don't have my cards. Poor Arn. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. Why did I do this? But I guarantee you, they're the exact same. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Pleasant surprise. In 
Now what? Are there others? Why do it? Incendio! Lumos! Leviosa! Repairer! Oh, you know what? I wonder... Nope, not that one. Where does it need to go, though? Oh, I see. Okay. Three. No, I need to do the Mallow Suite again. I get it to come down here. Should investigate. Lumos.
I don't know what to do with that one. Hmm. Hey everyone, this is where I'm going to end it for today. I will see you in the next video. I hope you're enjoying, enjoying this series. And again, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.